Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be comparing two numbers. We have 2 to the power square root of 15 and 14, and we're going to try to find out which number is larger. Now, how do you compare an exponential and an integer? Obviously, the power here is irrational, so that makes it more interesting. And let me know what you think about this problem. Great, so let's go ahead and get started. And this method might look really off to you because when I saw this problem, I thought about different scenarios and this is the one that worked the first. Obviously, you could use different numbers as well, but you're going to see that it works. But to get there, it's a little painful. And I'd like you to let me know if there's any other ways to do it. So let's go ahead and start by comparing two integers. And they're not random integers. They're special integers. So obviously, you should probably agree with me, 735 is greater than 729. You might be saying like, what is so special about 729 and 735? You probably know 729 is 27 squared, but what about 735? It is 49 times 15. So we have 49 times 15 that is greater than 729, which is 27 squared. But let me just write it as 729 first. So since I have square root of 15 on the left-hand side as an exponent, I'm going to go ahead and isolate 15 and write this as 15 is greater than 729 divided by 49. Now, this is really cool. You know why? Because both, 70, both 729 and 49 are perfect squares, and we now uh, are able to compare 15 to the ratio of two perfect squares. Now, why is that important? Because we're about to take the square roots. If we do take the square roots, ta -da -da -da, we get something super duper nice. We get square root of 15 is greater than the square root of 729, which is 27, divided by 7. This is nice, isn't it? But how can we use it? Well, if A is greater than B, does that imply 2 to the A greater than 2 to the B? Or does that depend on the numbers, true or false? I want you to think about it. But here's what I'm going to tell you. If we know that the square root of 15 is greater than 27 over 7, are you ready? Then this implies that 2 to the power square root of 15 is greater than 2 to the power 27 over 7. And you're like, so what? Okay, we're getting there, little by little. Now, we have this inequality, which is super duper helpful. But I need to get to 14 from here. And this is going to be my bridge, okay, to get there. But how do I get there? Let me show you. First of all, we need to look at two numbers that are very, very large. Are you ready? One of them is 2 to the power 27. 2 to the power 27 is... Can you guess? Is it going to be million over a million over 10 million? It is 134,217,728. Wow, that's a really large number, isn't it? And then what about another number? And for this, let's use 14 to the power 7. And you'll see why in a little bit why I use these two numbers. And this number is kind of close. It is 105,000. I mean, 105 million, 413,504. So, they are kind of close. If you look at their ratios, you probably find something like 1.2567, whatever, something like that. So, uh, they're not bad. But how do we use them? Here's the thing. We now know that the top number, 2 to the power 27, is greater than 14 to the power 7, correct? Let's go ahead and write it down. 2 to the power 27 is greater than 14 to the power 7. Awesome. But how do you use that? Okay, let's go back to what we had. We had a bridge, and our bridge is 20, 2 to the power 27 over 7. Now, you might be questioning something like, wait a minute, why don't you evaluate 2 to the power 27 over 7? Or try to go from there. Well, here's the problem. 27 over 7 is rational. Okay, it's a fraction. But, you know, 2 to the power of 27 over 7 is irrational, isn't it? So it's like the 7th root of 2 to the power of 27. So 
What's more important here is this number, because you know what? We can always take care of the denominator, but we can't take care of the numerator. I mean 27. So we need to go to 2 to the power of 27. That's why we evaluated both of these numbers. But wait a minute. Can we go from this to this? Absolutely. All you need is raise both sides to the power 1 over 7. Do, do you hear what I'm saying? So here's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead, because I do need 2 to the power 27 over 7, I'm going to go ahead and raise both sides to the power 1 over 7. And not only that's going to give us what we want, but on the right-hand side, we're going to get something super duper nice. Are you ready? Okay, great. So now, this gives us, obviously, when you have superpowers like this, power over power, you multiply the exponents. So that gives you 2 to the power 27 over 7. And the right-hand side, 7 over 7 is 1, and that gives us 14. And this is just awesome, don't you think? Well, let me tell you why this is awesome. Because we already know that... 2 to the power square root of 15 is greater than 2 to the power 27 over 7. And we also know that 2 to the power 27 over 7 is greater than 14 by transitive property, which is a property of relations or relationships. No, actually relations. This is a relation, right? So we could use the transitive property of inequalities and conclude that 2 to the power square root of 15 is greater than 14. But how close they are, I'm going to show you the results numerically. But before that, I want to talk about something different. So instead of going to these large numbers, because evaluating them is probably going to be painful unless you use a calculator like Desmos or Wolfram Alpha, right? I'll just call it a calculator because it's not AI. I've been calling it AI. And then somebody said, oh, this is just a large language model because I said, oh, it makes a lot of mistakes. Anyway, so on and so forth. It's not AI, we know that because AI is a little smarter, but we're still smarter. Anyways, that's a different story. But I was wondering, instead of going to these lengths, could we possibly do something else? Okay, here's one way to approach the problem. Remember, oops, we don't know if it's greater. I mean, we do, but pretend we don't. So the idea is we're going to compare these two numbers, right? So we could probably approximate this using, what is it called? Continued fractions, yes. And then hopefully go from there. But in this case, 27 over 7 is probably a good approximation for square root of 15, right? I mean, you can evaluate it and look at the numerical value. But let's go ahead and, you know, consider different options. Maybe we could use the binomial theorem. Somebody hopefully can come up with a different method because I'm curious, is there another way to do it? That's for you to find out. But I'm going to go ahead and show you the values so you can compare thanks to Desmos. We're able to see that ta -da -da -da, 2 to the power square root of 15 is actually greater than 14, not by much, just by 0.65 something. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.